Hello guys, welcome to AI Sciences and today we are going to learn how can we detect faces from a from a camera right so either you have a cctv camera or you have a mobile camera or, or you have any camera that have at least an ip address how can you detect faces by using that camera so following is how can you do um, so it, it is uh, this video is divided into two parts one is coding implementation and the other one is how can you get an ip address from a from a mobile camera so let's say if you're working with cctv camera it already has an ip address and you know that and i'll let you know where to paste that address so first of all let's do some python implementation and let's say let's import cv2 and then what we'll say is we'll say face guess Kid equals to cv2 dot c a s c uh, so there's a file called um, yeah cascade classifier and here we'll say cv2 dot data dot har cascades right and what we want to do is we want to append it with har cascade underscore frontal face default dot XML so we want to load these parameters we want to load uh, parameters from this file and let's run it great okay so now uh, let's say video equals to CV2 dot video capture right so capture it from zero which means capture it from IP address so here we'll pass the address right for now let it be free uh, I'll, I'll paste the IP address over here later on when I'll tell you how to get IP, IP address of a mobile camera right since we are using mobile camera for this tutorial if you have a CCTV camera or a camera for which you already know the IP address you have to paste that IP address over here right and then we'll say video dot open and then here we'll pass the address right and then while true here we'll say check comma frame so we'll get the frame from video dot read so it will return the frame and check as well and then we'll say we'll convert um, it into a grayscale so that our uh, computation becomes a bit lesser so we'll say rectangle uh, uh, so what will we do how can we do that so first of all we will say cv2 dot convert color and here we'll pass the frame and also we'll say cv2 dot color bgr2 G R A Y. So it will convert from B G R to gray, right? And then we'll say face equals to face cascade that we have already um, initialized. And then we'll say detect detect multi scale. And here we'll say gray and also scale factor would be let's say 1.1 and then we'll say uh, minimum neighbors equals to 5 right so uh, since it is going to use an algorithm in which uh, I mean it is you going to use KNN algorithm so that's why we have to uh, mention the minimum number of neighbors over there and then we'll say for X Y uh, coordinates and then width and height in face right we'll get the image equals to cv2 dot so here we'll say um rectangle rectangle yeah yeah rectangle and then here we'll pass frame and then we'll pass a tuple of x and y and then we'll pass a value that x plus w 
and y plus h right and here we'll pass the color for which we want to uh, display the rectangle so we'll say 0 comma 255 comma 0 so this color should be used I mean this color denotes green so green box will be um, will, will be displayed so since 0 is uh, blue G for green and R for red so it follows BGR convention and it is a, a three color scheme and then we'll say CV2 dot I am show image show right and here um, we have to um, we have to uh, pass the title of the frame so let's say mm, got gotcha and then we'll say frame right so we'll display the frame over there here we'll say key equals to cv2 dot weight key so we want to add some weight over here because uh, processing will be going on we cannot let it uh, be like this and here we'll say key if key equal equals to if key equal equals to q then we want to break the loop and when loop will be broken we'll say video dot release L E A S E yeah release so that camera will be released and then we'll say C V two dot destroy all windows right so it will destroy the object that is being created over there right so yeah our our code is written now how can we get a live stream from from a mobile camera for this purpose I have installed um, an application called IP webcam here is the uh, I will also post the link and description you can install this application on your um, on your mobile and when you will install it it will open a display uh, I mean it will open a um, uh, a, a window like this so there will be a window uh, there, there will, will be a button called start server it will probably the last option right when you will click on start server it will open an image uh, I mean a video like this and here you can see that there is an IP address right so you have to write this IP address into your window in my case the IP address is HTTP colon slash slash 192.168 point blah 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 you'll also have to write the port number as well right okay so when you will you will hit the enter uh, I mean you you will go to this link uh, something like this will be displayed and when you will go to to the browser your uh, camera will be displayed here here you, you can see that the camera is being displayed okay and now um, what you have to do is you have to copy uh, this uh, this IP address you have to go to the code uh, and paste it over here at the place of address and write slash video right okay now we are done we just have to run this cell and a window will be created where it is it will take a little bit of time and camera processing will be quite slow because uh, it has to do you know face detection it has to implement the face detection algorithm and stuff like that so it is still taking some time let's wait for it So yeah, we have an error over here. An error says that we oh yeah, it, it was CV2, and there is another error that is over here. The spelling of neighbor is wrong. Yeah, it's correct now. So let's run the cell again, and hopefully there will be no error. Let's run it. It is running, and let's wait for it to launch another window in which we can. Um, here you can see that uh, I mean processing is very slow but uh, you can see that it is detecting uh, my face and some wrong faces as well that are uh, actually not the faces and it is uh, drawing the bounding box around the face as well right so yes it is producing some errors but it is working uh, um, I mean why it is pro producing the errors and how they can be um, they can be corrected uh, I mean it really depends upon the algorithm right so yeah that's how you can use your mobile camera uh, uh, or any camera that has an IP address uh, to use 
uh, as as a face detection algorithm. I mean, in this, uh, in this, um, uh, you can say in this uh, in this variable, there are the faces. There are the there are the uh, features of the faces and you can write it down as well I mean you can export it as image I mean for example uh, there is a CCTV camera in front of your house and you want to detect the faces of people who who went through your house uh, or who, who who went from in front of your house so you can export these faces as well you can let's say write I uh, I mean you can exp uh, uh, by using CV2 you can easily uh, write these images onto your drive as well <laughs>